Hey there everyone, Queen of the Mole Rats here. Today's video is going to be very different from what I normally do and this is going to be um, kind of like a challenge but a first impressions at the same time. I noticed ages ago that most of my brushes, actually pretty much all of my brushes are brand names and you know from various makeup companies. I had nothing from any cheap online stores or anything like that that are more accessible to the majority of you guys. So recently I did a haul, I don't know if it's up on my channel yet, um, for Rose Gal. Yes, that was a sponsored video. I took the opportunity to get some of the cheaper brushes that they offer. Um, I got... now, now with Rose Gal they do have a mixture of synthetic um, and animal head brushes. Obviously I got all synthetic because I'm vegan. So this video is going to be all about doing a full face of makeup with this bag of brushes which every single brush in here, every single brush set is under eight dollars so it's all extremely affordable. Um, if you want to see the haul of video for these I will link that here as well because I do give my full impressions about these items and the length of shipping and quality all of that stuff. So I'm going to do my work makeup with these brushes and just hope for the absolute best. Um, I'm not sure if I got any face brushes, so if I didn't then I'm just going to use my regular face brush or beauty blender depending on what foundation I choose to use today. So yeah, let's get straight into this. Upon further inspection, I just noticed that I didn't get any face brushes. I got exclusively eye brushes. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my base, not do my brows or anything like that because there are brow brushes here. So yeah, I'm just going to go do my base and I'll be back in a moment. So now that my base is done, I'm going to move on to eyebrows. And basically I go between two eyebrow pomades. The first one is the UD Brow by LA Splash and the other one is... hold on a sec. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Granite. So it's basically like a off black kind of one. It's a subtle black. It's very very nice. This one's probably my favorite for usability but this one lasts a hell of a lot longer. I'm just going to use this one because it's a product that I've worked with for about three years now so I know it a lot better than the other one. These are all the brushes I got and one of them is broken, the glue on the ferrule broke. Um, so I'm just going to try and select which one would be the best for eyebrows. So I just picked up this one because I thought that looked similar to my regular brow brush but it's very thick so instead I have picked up this one and I'm going to try this one. It's a little bit thicker and longer than my normal brow brush but you know <laughs> I'm gonna try. Okay, so now that I've finished the dip brow portion of my brows, they're looking pretty good. Kind of like my regular brows. Um, actually, very much like my regular brows. Now I've just got to put a little bit of matte black eyeshadow on top of them just to set the brow pomade and, and also just to darken them up a tiny bit. And I'm going to take that first brush that I used because, yeah, um, I might as well use it. And, you know, it doesn't really take much to put a tiny bit of powder on top of my brows once the dip brow's on. The main precise part of my brows is the um, dip brow portion of it. Half of this eyebrow, well, a portion of this eyebrow just doesn't grow anymore. Um, 
from a burn that I had a few years ago so um, that's kind of the story why I ended up shaving off the last half of my eyebrows because this one wouldn't grow back after I burnt my face. Just a little mishap with a novelty lighter and um, yeah. Alright, so now that that's done, it's moving on to eyes and this is where I'm going to be using a good portion of these brushes. So I'm just going to speed up most of this next section, but I will pause after I finish using each brush to, you know, kind of talk about the usage of it straight after using it. And then at the end of this video, I will give my thoughts and how they compare to my higher and more expensive brushes. So I'm just finishing up using this brush and um, it's actually a pretty decent blending brush. Um, one thing, it does require a tiny bit more work than uh, one of my favorite blending brushes, which is by Real Techniques. Again, another affordable brush, but this has skyrocketed in price in Australia. I remember I bought this when there was a massive hype about them about three years ago, and I bought this for about $6 Australian, and now it's about, I think, just shy of $18 Australian. So it has significantly rose in price, um, but it is nowhere near some of the other brushes that I have unfortunately bought in the past. Another one of my favorite blending brushes, um, I've got a few by this brand, but Furless Cosmetics. Um, I've got heaps by Furless Cosmetics and also Spectrum brushes, although I do not recommend Spectrum because I have had an issue with extreme shedding with some of their brushes and also the ferrules uh, falling off. Um, so yeah, overall, um, especially because this set that this one came in, and I think this one has something like 12 brushes, um, this one was only like $7 and that is pretty darn good. So yeah, it's, it's doing okay. It needs a little bit more work, as I said, than the other blending brushes, but yeah, definitely better than I expected. Now, usually I don't use um, gel liner, I use an eyeliner pen, but for the sake of this video and to try out some more of these brushes, I'm going to use gel liner for the first time in yonks. All right, hopefully I don't make a complete mess of myself. So here goes. Not bad so far.
Okay, so after using this eyeliner brush, I'm pleasantly surprised. I got an accurate wing and yeah. I am actually very pleasantly surprised with this. I really love this brush. So now my impressions on these brushes, they are very, actually very surprising. I didn't expect to like them as much as I do, um, especially for something that I've been paying premium prices for, for many, many years now. And I guess um, the way that the makeup world works is we're always taught um, in some ways, not necessarily that expensive is better and especially with brushes premium brands are generally better um, that's what we're led to believe anyway with all of the brushes that I used um, I didn't use all of them obviously because you know there's a buttload there but from what I've used and I just randomly selected different brushes that were made for different things and for applying different types of products I'm very, very impressed, and I would go as far to say as these are almost as good as my favourite brush brand, which is Furless Cosmetics. Now, Furless is an Australian-made brand and Australian-owned, and they put a lot of effort into animal charities and all of that stuff, so I will continue to buy Furless brushes. but. I think I will actually put more money into these um, cheaper synthetic brushes as well. It seems um, practical to have some of these cheaper brushes to, that are laying around just for daily makeup application. Maybe not so much for blending because I did say before that I noticed that the blending brush did take a little bit more effort than some of my favorite blending brushes from Furless Cosmetics and Real Techniques, but they are incredibly good. They are almost as good. So if you are just getting into makeup or you're wanting to invest in more brushes, I would say give these a try because now I worked professionally as a makeup artist for quite some time um, so I I guess I do have an upper hand with technique and all of that stuff I guess um, but you know self-taught makeup makeup artists are just as good if not better than professionals I guess having experience in the field does give me an upper hand when first trying out these brushes, but I, I still would recommend um, maybe looking into getting a couple uh, cheaper sets, especially for eye brushes. You can never have too many eye brushes because they're just the ones that you kind of go through the most. Face brushes, when it comes to sets, I don't understand why there are so many face brushes because, you know, people tend to only use a couple there's only so many face brushes you can use, um, whereas, whereas with eye brushes you can continually use a whole plethora of them, um, hence why my eye makeup brush collection is much, much larger than my face brush collection. Um, also I tend to give away a lot of the face brushes that come in sets that I purchase because I just don't need them. So that being said, would I recommend these? Yes, I, I definitely would. And I honestly didn't think I would like them this much. I did get these, as I said, as part of a sponsorship thing with Rose Gal, um, but I am incredibly, uh, 
incredibly impressed with what I got and this is not a sponsored video this is all just my reactions and my real experience with these so I hope you enjoyed this video and I, I know it's not really what I usually do but if you would like more of these first impressions or challenge videos let me know don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I'd love to be here for every single video. Like this video if you liked what it was all about. Comment down below if there's something you'd like to see on this channel. And like I said, let me know if there's any of these challenges you want me to participate in. And hope you all have a fantabulous day.